Ambitious Creatives. It's your girl, Aline, running the show from home. Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Christina Smith, a recent graduate of Wheaton College who studied film and creative writing, and you are a recent member of Women in Film. Yes, I am. As of yesterday, uh, my membership just came through. Amazing. Congratulations. My favorite so organization, much. which is exactly how you and I met through the Women in Film Coffee Talk session. I know. It's crazy how, you know, one thing can lead to another. Like, I became aware of that call just that morning. You know, a few months before that, I uh, had a job interview at a local production studio. And while that job didn't work out, the person who I interviewed with was Wendy Rad, who's really involved in Women in Film. And she told me about the organization. And she recommended me to Joanne, who that through her I got my membership, which is amazing. And then, yeah, that morning she told me, hey, you know, this might be a good opportunity for you to hop on the call and meet some folks in the organization. So I did, and I got your contact info, and I followed up with you, and here we are. I know. You came in at the right time. It was like we were meant to meet. Yes. <laughs> you were looking for a job, <laughs> and, and I was looking for help. <laughs> like a rom-com. Yes. The way we met was was amazing because we literally got on a call on coffee talk hour and then before you know it you became my assistant editor and a freelancer in multimedia projects that you're helping out with which has been amazing and it was all in a matter of moments the domino effect is crazy yeah. <laughs> so it's amazing how women in film you know keeps everyone connected and it's the best place to network for women to meet yeah. and connect and collaborate and Joanne is amazing. I met her a few years ago and she's the one that invited me to join Women in Film. I had met her at WGBH when they were hosting an event. And since then, I've been really supportive of Women in Film as they have been toward me. And they actually just sponsored an episode of my show, which is super exciting. I just had a chance to uh, chat with Sharon, uh, the vice president of Women in Film. Yeah, and, that, that was a great episode. I, I recently watched it. Yeah, so tell us, you are a recent graduate and you've been searching for work. I know you've been networking and interviewing. So tell us how that's going and what you would recommend to someone else that just graduated from college who's also, you know, trying to get into the industry and, you know, job search during this time. Yeah, for sure. So I graduated last year, class of 2019. So uh, I've been undergoing this process for quite a bit. So I can't imagine, you know, how difficult it must be for someone in the class of 2020 graduating in these circumstances facing the job market as it stands right now because it's difficult for even someone like me who's been in this process for a while. When the quarantine started, it kind of became apparent that, you know, networking was really the strongest avenue forward um, just because a lot of job postings like internships are getting canceled, um, you know, a lot, not a lot of places are hiring or canceling positions. So it's nice to know that there are still ways to reach out to people who work for places that you're interested in, asking for an informational interview or even just 20 minutes of their time if uh, their schedule allows. You never know what can happen after just a phone call with someone. They could recommend uh, a resource for you that leads you to discover a webinar that leads you to, you know, enter a coffee chat and end up on TV. So who knows, right? you know? <laughs> and, and that's the nice thing right now uh, about women in film and through a lot of organizations is that they're keeping everyone connected during Zoom and, you know, virtual events. Uh, there's seminars, there's workshops, there's webinars, there's a ton of resources out there for everyone to participate in and to still stay creative and productive. Yeah, absolutely. So there's also a lot that can be said of even just getting updates. I'm a big fan of getting newsletter updates. I sign up for a lot of the PBS ones. Uh, Women in Film and Video has a great one. Film Freeway and Submittable. They often post networking opportunities and virtual events that might be happening that are free and open to the public. My advice for now would just be to hop onto as many of those as you can um, and to see where that takes you because it could lead to opportunities that you might not expect. I agree, absolutely. And speaking of newsletters, I just came out with my newsletter for This Girl Runs the Show Productions. So Very if exciting. anyone's watching, definitely subscribe because there's going to be a lot of great info coming up and it'll be a great way to stay connected and find out about the upcoming shows, podcasts, and interviews. But what about film festivals? I've been finding uh, during this time that there's a lot of virtual film festivals that are taking place. Uh, I actually just submit a Zoom episode to the New England Film Festival. And for anyone who's interested in submitting right now to different film festivals, Boston Film Festival is another one. There's the New York Film Festival. I mean, there's a ton of them. And you can find a lot of the film festivals that are listed all on the Freeway website. 
Yeah, absolutely. And that's how I came to submit a screenplay that I wrote during quarantine. Women in Film and Video had a screenwriting competition and it was just writing a 10 pager under script around the theme of isolation with a female protagonist. Um, and it was a way for me to kind of hop back into getting more active and creative during this time. Cause I, I'm the kind of person that likes a deadline and I like structure in my schedule or as much as I can allow it. Through that, I submitted uh, my own script and I'm trying to be more active in staying creative through those kinds of events. That's amazing. And again, like you said, you know, setting up to the newsletters, looking into the film festivals, virtual events, Zooms, webinars, there's a ton going on. So definitely just keeping connected. You'll meet some amazing people and find out about some really great uh, resources as well. Is there anything you'd recommend to anyone that's kind of looking into getting into the film industry? Is there anything else that you want to share about that? Networking is definitely super important. I would definitely really emphasize that for folks who are kind of just emerging in any industry, really. From experience, that part of the job search was always emphasized to me, but I never really realized in practice how important it was until really a few months back. Just because lots of people apply to the same positions every day, you may get hundreds of applicants and be in that, you know, sea of really talented people. And with only kind of a follow-up email in your arsenal and, you know, a resume and a cover letter, sometimes that's just not enough. You know, I've really learned by doing during this period of time and keep in mind that, you know, reaching out to folks and staying active on sites like LinkedIn and, you know, your social channels and keeping folks updated is a really powerful tool and it's a really powerful way to nail that first opportunity whenever it comes your way. I agree. And there are so many different ways that you can network going to events and, you know, going to support someone's show or film or, you know, business and anything that they're doing, but also in the virtual world and just contacting one another, just sharing someone's business, just commenting on someone's post, checking out someone's website, subscribing to someone's newsletter, you know, attending someone's virtual event, just guidance, support. There are so many ways you can network. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, my impression of networking, even as soon as a few months ago, oh, you send an email to somebody and pray that they respond to you within a certain amount of days. And if they don't, then give them a little nudge. And if they don't, then leave them alone. But there really are just so many different ways to meet people, even in this time when a lot of in-person things unfortunately can't happen. Like you mentioned, I've been made aware of so many webinars and lots of places are doing outdoor facing digital learning series. I know MIT Sloan is doing one right now that I'm volunteering with. Oh, sure. And sure. the MIT, that's interesting. Yeah, for sure. So through a connection I made a few years ago at an internship, um, Pat Hubble, shout out, I love you. I was shout connected out. to, yeah, shout out. <laughs> this community, um, the MIT Sloan community, and they have an annual award that they give to CIOs. Uh, and this year that happened virtually through an award webinar, which I live tweeted and edited a short presentation to start at the beginning of the um, Zoom call. Yeah, that was great. You know, through that, I've met so many folks already, and it's just been nice to connect with that community. You know, I look forward to working with them going forward this summer because they plan to do a series of webinars that are free for folks. They do have a tiered subscription as well that adds um, added perks. I definitely would recommend that, especially for folks who are maybe just graduating or are looking to make a career change or are interested in tech or in that sort of industry, just because it's a, a great opportunity to you know, hear from folks who are already involved and to network. Again, there are so many different ways to do it. There are, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for sharing. And we'll definitely include the link so that if anybody's interested, they can definitely check out the MIT program. Is there anything else that you've been doing uh, to stay creative during this time? Uh, yeah, I've been trying to keep active in, uh, you know, catching up with reading and uh, watching films. I know a lot of folks may have watch lists that are getting pretty long and are using this time to kind of catch up on that, which is kind of nice and to commiserate about that. I occasionally contribute to Film School Rejects. I write articles about film and television. That's also been an avenue into staying connected with the community and to think more about the, the type of things I'm interacting with. I love it. Good for you. I mean, you are just busy, 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 which is great. I mean, I, you've got a lot going on and it just sounds like you have a lot of different interests. Yeah. And 
it is a difficult time to be doing those things. And obviously there are a lot of days when the productivity doesn't come or if it's just not happening. So I think it's important to just figure out what sort of uh, activities are you know, best for your mental health at this time. And it's okay if jumping headfirst into a job search isn't the, uh, the be all and end all of this moment. It's hard to strike that balance, but it can happen and uh, it happens through that kind of self-awareness and trying to stay in tune with yourself and what your body needs and what you need. Absolutely. And it's nice because it's, you know, coming from someone who's recently just coming out of college to someone who's in a later place in her life. And I just kind of feel like it doesn't matter how old we are, who we are, what we do for work. And I feel like in any industry and at any age, we all need to put our mental health and peace of mind first. We all need to take care of ourselves for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And there's also a dimension to it too of respecting the process and that things take time. I know that's something that I struggle with a lot. I mentioned earlier, like I graduated last May in 2019 and uh, I didn't imagine that a year later, I would be on a um, Zoom call during a pandemic, but just respecting that, you know, things do take time and that you may not end up where you expect, but also you may see opportunities that you uh, didn't expect as well. Oh, things well, do happen yeah. in time. <laughs> they do happen and they're happening and you, you've got so much talent. I mean, you're amazing. You just came out of nowhere. You are queen of editing queen of all multimedia projects, social media, but you're doing a lot and it takes time to build. I mean, I've been involved in so many different industries and it took so much time to like combine them all. And that's kind of where I came up with this girl runs the show. But you know, again, it's always work in progress. It's always time and effort and work and it's in anything we do, but things do work out. Sometimes they just take a lot of time. <laughs> Your life can lead you in so many different directions. And that's that's okay. That's the best part about life is life is not meant to always go the way you plan, you know? But I'll tell you, every twist and turn has led me to so many amazing, amazing adventures. And sometimes just allowing it and not fighting it, you just really don't know where you can end up. And it's it's been an amazing journey. Oh, thank you. That's so lovely. And <laughs> It, it is very true. Like you were saying, you're, you have a foot in so many different industries and that I really admire the way that you're kind of structuring, you know, all of your interests under this same umbrella with This Girl Runs the Show and kind of taking that to heart and realizing that you can pursue so many different avenues at the same time. Like I just, because the program I come from is pretty interdisciplinary in terms of film studies, film production, and then the new media aspect with you know, the whole digital media gamut and the internet and computer science and marketing and communications and just so many different aspects. And it, it can be difficult when you have such a wide range of interests, figuring out where uh, to plant my foot first and realizing that you can kind of pursue multiple avenues at the same time and that you can build your own schedule that works for you as well out of that. And that's something that uh, I think you're modeling very, you know, wonderfully, just having all of that happening for you at the same time. I think that's great. Thank you. Well, it took a lot of time, a lot of work, <laughs> but I agree. And I feel like why limit yourself? You can, anybody can do anything they put their mind to. And it's lovely and amazing to have so much passion in, in multiple industries or in multiple areas in just one industry. You know, in film, there are so many ends of the industry. So why not? learn about it all. I'm so happy that you're so passionate about different ends of the industry and just becoming a member of Women in Film. They're definitely the organization that will connect you and help you to pursue all your goals in all ends of the industry, which is really nice. Yeah, and again, I'm really excited to be chatting with you and that I'm really happy that we connected and that I'm kind of navigating this world with their help already within, you know, the past few weeks. It's just brought about so much of a you know, noticeable change on my outlook and just my perspective about this time. It's been, it's been wonderful. It's amazing because all of the women in Women in Film are such supportive and inspiring women. I mean, they do everything to keep everyone connected. The inspiration and the support really encourages us all. Yeah, it goes but, such a long way just to have that first yes, that first bit of someone seeing something in you. It's just, Wonderful. Yeah. I, I keep returning to that word, but it's true. <laughs> it is. I mean, just seeing how amazing you are in the work that you do, it's like you came into my life at the right time. <laughs> it just like worked out. Thank you, women in film. <laughs> yeah. Serendipity. It happens.
So tell us if anybody wants to connect and collaborate with you, uh, how can someone get in contact with you? Yeah, you can find me on Twitter and Instagram. I'm at Christina, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-A, 9397. I'm also on LinkedIn and I really welcome any, you know, connections there. I'm a LinkedIn fiend, so I'm <laughs> a big fan. Well, we'll make sure to include your LinkedIn and all your social networks you, so that the viewers can see if they want to connect and collaborate with you and hopefully they'll find you on LinkedIn. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's been a pleasure and I look forward to our next chat. Yes, thank you so much for having me. This was wonderful. Thank you, Christina.